cute, mine's slopped everywhere. <laughs> Good choice. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, you know, you've just had a lovely load of videos of me traveling. It's going all over me, I'm getting ice cream everywhere, guys. But if you haven't already guessed by my videos, I am in London for less than 24 hours to see my huns. So yeah, it's I can't say that on the vlog. It's about, it's about 9,000 degrees here. But the weather is amazing. And we've got ice cream, so who's winning? We're winning. You come to London for less than 24 hours and this is the fun you get. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes of the way! Yeah. She's reading my vlog. She's getting her boobs out. She's doing the fun. They stop swearing. Stop swearing in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Don't put that in there. I never said a word. <laughs> you have about three drinks. Don't do it. Don't say it's naughty. What have you got to say to the vlog, home? Um, so what I'm going to say is, I'm going to ask Han some questions. Han, yeah. how was London today? <sighs> it was so fun. Ice cream, rate it 10 out of 10. A 7. 7 out of 10? What? Not a 7 on taste, only it got a 7 the whole experience because it was yeah, better than okay, my hands. Right. What about the pub out of 10 go? 8. 8, good vibes there, good atmosphere. Good vibes. Could have been a little. Uh, it was too hot. Too busy, too hot. Yeah. Yeah. If it was, if it was a beer garden, you know, you'd be all right. Yeah. Uh, next question: When you move into London? Tomorrow. <laughs> You've heard it here first. We're supposed to come back, have gin, got a bottle of wine in case the gin ran out, got snacks. We have drank a gin though. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Take ten. Oh, wow. <coughs> we're not even drunk, that's the thing. So, yeah, we were supposed to come back and do all that, but... <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why. Kate <coughs> went off for a shower about five hours ago. <laughs> so it's asleep. You come to London for less than 24 hours and this is the welcoming. But she's moving me, so... There's plenty, plenty of time. Eight There's <laughs> plenty of time for that. You better put a filter on this. I look awful. Can you do that with video? Imagine if you put you a bit of hair. Put a little bush. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Imagine if I was like, put a little wig there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, save that. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. I'm Jay. <laughs> I've just realised that I didn't um, do any more on my vlog from after I got back from London, but oh my god, it was so stressful. Um, let me start. My um, The play that I made like an announcement that I'd got a role in um, actually got cancelled um, because a main character dropped out at the last minute, so 
they had to cancel it and um so I had this week booked off for the play um, and obviously I'd spent a lot of time learning my lines for it and researching about the play so I was quite gutted about it really um, but these things happen you know um, so I tried to just see it as a positive um, work did ask me if I wanted to not use the holiday but I was just kind of like if I have it in my head that I was supposed to be doing my play this week and then I just end up working and coming home then I, I might just feel quite sad about it so I thought well, I'll use it as a holiday and I just fill the week up with like different stuff that I want to get done so um I went to Stoke on well I went to Stoke to meet um a few people that I used to work at Frankie's with um so there's my friends from there and we went um, to Chester for the day and we went and had cake and went shopping and went to Clip and Climb which is so good it's such a good day out if you get to go go um so yeah we went and did that and that was really good fun and then I went back to Stoke with them all and it was a beautiful sunny day on that day so we went to um this pub that's in Stoke called Brindley Farm and we went into the pub garden there and had a couple of drinks and it was really nice um so that was just a day out that was quite cute and then I decided that I would go to London to see Sophie and Kate so then that's what you saw um and I actually was literally there for less than 24 hours but sod it you know life's too short so I um it was way too expensive for trains this weekend because of the London Marathon on Sunday well today and uh so I booked the National Express coach. It was my first experience with them. So I was quite nervous about it. And on Friday, my journey was about six hours long. Um, there was a nice service stop, so you could get off for 20 minutes and stretch your legs halfway through the journey. Um, and the rest of it was fine. I just kind of read my acting book and listened to a couple of podcasts. And, oh my gosh, I'm really, really into um, Dolly Alderson's podcast, Love Stories. I was already into uh, the high low podcast but then um from hearing about dolly alderson's new book everything i know about love i think it's called um i heard about her podcast love stories and she interviews different people on their experiences with relationships and love and it's such a good podcast um i would definitely recommend that and i would also recommend the influential women podcast um i listened to that one i think it was the Shelley Blonde episode, I'm really sorry I've got that wrong, but yeah, I think it was the Shelley Blonde um, episode that I listened to, and it was so good, um, I really hope I've said the right name, um, but she's, if I've got the right person, she's the voiceover actor for Laura Croft, um, so I would definitely, definitely recommend that, um, so yeah, on my coach journey there, although it was like the longer one, it was um, more enjoyable, like I had it wasn't that busy on the Manchester to London coach. I had the seat next to me. Um, it was all like really good. Um, and then yesterday when I was coming back, um, I had someone sat next to me and she was an older lady. So I didn't, I held a wee in the whole coach journey. It was only four hours and 40 minutes this one, but that's still quite a long time. Um, and I didn't want to wake her up like or bother her to, so that because she was sat on the the outside um seat so I don't want to wake her up to ask her to go to the toilet or anything um so I just held this way in the whole way and um we stopped once at Keel services and it was just for a driver changeover like they didn't even let us get off well they let people get off for a save but they wouldn't even let us like go and like get a drink or anything like that which was a bit crap but um and there was a baby and I I love kids I love them so much and like I get really excited when I see babies and stuff and like I want to hold them and like I'm very much like a child friendly person but this kid on the coach would not stop screeching and squealing and it was making the most horrible noises and I was so irritated by it and I feel really bad for saying that but yeah it was just really getting on my nerves and for four hours and 40 minutes just not ideal really so it wasn't a very pleasant journey, let's say that, but the train ticket one way was £88 and the coach journey was £12 one way, so, you know, I'd rather be £12 out of pocket than £88 out of pocket, you know, 
then last night when I got back, I was super tired um, from all the traveling I'd done in like 24 hours. I ordered from this takeaway called Perry Hut and they do like the exact same chips as Nando's, they do pro chips and I was like, yes, I'm having a bit of them. So I got that and some pro chicken and um, listened to another Dolly Alderson podcast and um, just did some research really. Um, so it was a nice chilled night, glass of wine, you know. And then today I've worked 10 to 8, so nice big long shift to get me back after six days off. Um, but I'm really excited because um, tomorrow I'm working five till close and then I don't actually get to go to sleep. So tonight is my last sleep. <laughs> my last sleep. Um, but... Yeah, I don't get to go to sleep tomorrow because on, yeah, so I'll do the five clothes and then I'll get home, don't get to sleep because at half three, a taxi's picking me up to take me to the airport and I'm meeting all the Frankies lot at the airport, <laughs> the Frankies lot, as if everyone knows that, I'm meeting my friends at the airport and we're going to Berlin for 48 hours. <laughs> Why do I do all these 24 hour, 48 hour trips? I just love going here there and everywhere and exhausting myself but you know it's all fun and games uh, and yeah so I'm extremely excited for that so I hope you enjoyed I'm really sorry I've just rambled a lot but I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, I hope you enjoyed the Berlin vlog as well hopefully that's gonna be fun and um, we've seen the forecast and it's forecast to be raining so you know we'll see what we can do with that um, but yeah I will see you soon